Hello everyone, it's Gav here and welcome back to my channel, Gav Tarantulas. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, one of my personal favourites and I can never say this one but I'll give it a go. It's the Ephobibus Xyganthoanthus. No idea if I've got that right, but the blue flang tarantula, I've got two of these, if you've seen in a previous video. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Give me some feedback. It's always good to hear. Um, but I'm just going to take a quick look at these ones because I had these from a previous show. And um, if you followed my channel and my other videos, one of them had mites quite badly and I removed them. So... Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description in case you wanted to check that out and uh, we'll just carry on and have a look and see how these are going. Okay so here are both of my specimens and as you can see there's one here on the lid and the other one there on the lid. Uh, they tend to go up and web arboreally but they're not arboreal species they're more fossorial but uh, they won't go down until they get a bit bigger so they just I left them like that with the plants in there just to give them that area to do it but as you can tell um, plenty of room to grow in this enclosure um, but I've got these on the date 19th of May um, and I've got them from the BTS can't remember who I got them from but this one here is the one that was covered in two different types of mites the brown mites and the white mites um, it's hard to say which ones which with the type of mites but I know the brown ones are parasitic so as I said, link in the description to my previous video and you can see how I removed them and they're fully okay. And these two were tiny. And if I give you a close up look now before removing the lid, because then they will more than likely run away and hide somewhere. But I'll take the lid off in a second and see if we can feed them. You can see the coloration on the band, on the legs. These are just absolutely stunning. And I can see uh, the coloration on the calicerae, the blue fangs, but it's not showing up there. So I will see if I can get a bit of a close-up when I try and feed them a small meal where I'm in a second, but let's get in a bit closer. All right, no doubt they'll run off. So let's do, let's put that one out of the way. Let's do the one here with the mites first. And of course the door bit to open is right there. So it's probably gonna run off. And these are lightning fast. I absolutely love how it's turned to see me there. If I can keep it like that, it'd be perfect. So I don't have to destroy the webbing. All right, let me just get this out of the way. All right, there we go, that's a better shot. So I'm trying to use a new tripod at the minute. I thought I've got one that extended legs, but nope, got a dwarf one. But there, it gives me a steady picture. I've got a real good shot. And what you can see crawling in the corner there is not a mite, that is a springtail. Because I've got springtails in this one. All right, let's see if I can feed. There you go, blue fangs. Oh, sorry, the blue clicerae. I've breathed on it then, scared it, come on. Trust me to pick up a mealworm that just doesn't move. Come on. While I wait for that, let me just see if I can clean this bit out. No, this one's not hungry. We go, so I'll just water this one and we'll have a look at the next one. Okay, here is my next one. This one didn't have mites, both feeding very, very well. Yep, 
There we go. So you can see the blue cliffs ray. They do have them from this size as well. I did have these from, they were literally less than a centimetre, I think, or probably a centimetre leg span, but they were absolutely tiny. But now they've tripled in size, even though they're still really, really small. But no threat poses or anything from these. They're just a bit skittish, um, like to run away, don't really like the light. Although when they're on the web and they seem a bit more comfortable now because I've had them settled and I literally just leave them alone apart from feeding. So I will see if this one will take because my hands are shaking so it's probably going to be able to feel that. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Quite hairy as well. Oh, like some good fang action on that one. So you can see this is definitely a species that I've, you know, you've got to have in your collection. Um, that's why I've got two, because I've had these previously, and for some reason they just kept perishing at very, very tiny slings. But I have done lots of research and trial and error, and I'm really good at keeping slings now so um i kept these previously and made sure they only had like the substrate to go in but as slings they tend to go aborally some arboreal slings when you get them you set up aborally but they will like to bury until they get to a certain size so you need to learn and realize how they go so i give these uh, an arboreal setup but a lot of substrates so when they're ready they can start burrowing down and as soon as they do that i will move them into a bigger enclosure which would be like a future setup for them so as you can see both of them now are still arboreally but they're both doing well. Um, the other one will probably feed in a few days, if not next week. But uh, they're probably due a molt. Um, so then get even bigger, which I expect their behaviour to change. But this, as you can see, is just an absolutely gorgeous spider. So I've absolutely wanted these to grow um, large for some time. But I've not had any joy with them. But these two are doing brilliantly. Especially the previous one. Um that had mites um is doing really really well so not as um, aggressive as eater as this one so but at least they're still doing really really well so i'll give this one a water and we'll leave it be so thanks so much for uh, watching this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a comment let me know what you think or um yeah just let me know what you think cheers guys